that you guys understand the legal weight, distribution of the weight, tarping, all the securements which is involved. Remember that this now it's a what? It's winter time, right? So you have to stay away from certain roads. Remember, like she said, oh my God, from Los Angeles to Colorado, right? She wanted us to go through what? She wanted us to go through a uh, Grand Junction, right? So this is the only way she could have had that thousand miles. And I can tell you this, Grand Junction, Colorado, here. So this is their mileage from TQL. Who is going to drive? This actually the road of death. For some drivers who ever were driving there, especially in the winter, this is a suicidal mission. Every time when I see these postings from dispatch services who are actually not located in USA, this is their route. So usually they post like this because they've never been in USA. They do not know geography. They don't really know the routes. So they advertise for you. Oh my God, we have team loads. So usually guys, when you see map like this, this is a big no, no. That means they have no knowledge of the roads, of the traffic, of what's going on. Same, you can see them going through Yellowstone, right? Then we can see them actually swimming through the lakes, right? Or going through the Canada. So please guys, I don't care if we are outsourcing or not, but at least, at least educate yourself and know the reality. And what are we dealing now with? Well, we're dealing with snow. So will we go through there? No, we're going to go through 40 New Mexico, right? And if you go through New Mexico as a dispatcher, what do you need to make sure? Well, you need to make sure that what that your trucking company has a permit, right? You can get temporary permit if you actually not doing this this often or you have annual permit end of the year, guys. So what do we have to do? end of the year in trucking if the license renewal new decals hopefully you guys already renew your license you order the decals yes yes no no i mean today is december 1st not too late do it in the next few days some states takes a long time to send those decals do not wait till the last minute renewing your permits for new mexico for new york hot hot uh, series for hot series 25 did you order the already hot stickers for new york well new york is a tricky state right they take a while to mail those out what else we need to renew well we need to make sure that oregon account is up to date so if you do have annual account there make sure that those permits for each truck are gonna be renewed kentucky you don't have to do anything you have kentucky for same account you just need to make sure you file your ifta and connecticut finally finally thanks god connecticut switch to quarterly filings for their new uh tech tr uh, truck um, uh, heavy duty tax uh uh filing right so if you have connecticut you don't have to do it monthly anymore we're gonna do it like all other states normally quarterly, right? With New York, remember guys, if you had a New York and you were not driving that many miles through New York, you were put in annual filing. So starting January 1st till January 31st, right? What's gonna happen? You need to go and file all miles. Your trucks were driving in New York state. If you are on annual filers, if you still in quarterly filers, then you will need to do your last quarter. So do we know all this? Yes, we do. Sorry off topic, but did you get a haircut? You look great. Yes, I got a haircut. You know, I am like a market. I am like a trucking market. I change my colors. I change my nails. I change my cut. I guess I am unpredictable. I am in trucking, so, you know, one day I wake up and I'm like, okay, I am not blonde anymore. Then I wake up and I'm like, okay, I'm going to have the bright red hair. Now this is a chocolatey. <laughs> I have to, I have to keep up with, with, uh, changes, but thank you. Thank you, Irina. <laughs> 
What else? Most dangerous road. Yes, exactly. 70, 70. What else we staying away from? If you're talking about what? If you're talking about Virginia right here, we want to make sure we stay away from 64, right? Route 64, West Virginia, right here. West Virginia, Virginia. You do not actually want to take any loads there. You do not want to end up going there. So stay away from 64. Let's go to our favorite tolls. 76 is the most ex ex expensive tolls in the USA. So that's why mostly drivers take 80. They take 80 so they save on the, on the tolls. What's going to happen now? Now we're going to see all the drivers speeding on the East Coast. So we're going to start seeing accidents, right? So we're going to start seeing accidents. But let's go back. So where else are we posting? So had tire problems. So we had the flatbed posted. What is our fuel doing? Let's see. Our fuel is... Wow, it went down 1% and we still paying average $4.15 per gallon. MPG, dear pro dispatcher, do you know MPG for your trucks? Why is it important? Well, so you can calculate how much fuel it's going to cost you to do the route from A to B. How heavy is the load, right? The heavier the load, well, the more fuel you need to use. Well, the heavier the load and you go through the mountains, you're actually using your tires and brakes. So actually, you're going to spend more money on preventive maintenance and everything else. So as a dispatcher, do you need to know first operational cost for each combination your truck your driver his mpg what is he using for fuel does he has discount right what is the breakdowns you need to know operational cost of every driver if you do not know operational cost and you dispatching you not dispatching you pretending to dispatch so you the one who calls and agrees to the load for fifty six hundred dollars to go to new york city because you don't even know if your carrier is going to be making profit or not. So let's educate ourselves, right? People asking about what? About our upcoming classes. Well, finally, finally, we are finishing what? We are finishing 2023. Very challenging year in trucking. Uh actually very challenging for me personally because i had to make sure that we still going strong improving changing changing a lot of things but very very rewarding so the last training of 2023 is starting tomorrow so we are gonna finish strong with our students and for most of you guys pay attention december 18th we still gonna have webinar right we're still going to have a webinar on how to open trucking company. And if you use a code which was given for actually Black Friday and you put webinar 99, you can save that $100. Why do I want to see a bunch of owner operators in that class? Because most of you are doing this mistake. You actually thinking that well, I am ready to go and buy my truck. Or maybe you're a company driver. I want to go open my MC. I want to be on my own. And you guys do not have actually the steps. You do not calculate the cost. How much is it going to cost you? You don't really know the reality. How long does it going to take you? E and you don't even know, is that a good decision for you? So guys, $99 for three and a half hours of me teaching you giving you all the links calculating that operational cost with you telling you how to open mc dot how to open clearing house how to apply for those trucking permits this is a steal this is like charity webinar right so again you can go on my website learndispatchtoday.com put that code webinar 99 with w i know my 
W and my V still have that Eastern European accent. Guys, it's 